The Mind Museum is a three-story building which is operated by Bonifacio Arts Foundation Inc. We opened our doors to the public way back 2012 and it is the first world-class science museum in the Philippines. It showcases five different galleries providing kids of all ages an educational experience which inspires them to further understand nature. The Mind Museum is a three-story building which is operated by Bonifacio Arts Foundation Inc. We opened our doors to the public way back 2012 and it is the first world-class science museum in the Philippines. It showcases five different galleries providing kids of all ages an educational experience which inspires them to further understand nature. This, in fact, led us to be the 2014 Thea Awardee for its outstanding achievement as a science museum due to its sensory-rich experience. The Mind Museum was created not only with a world-class architectural design but also as a building that is responsible in using resources and mindful of its environment's preservation. It features a solar reflected facade and sloped external walls that create draw for natural ventilation, rainflow system, solar panels, solar assisted aircon, and other energy efficient equipment. This, in fact, has led us our establishment to be LEED Gold certified since November 2012, and we also won a second runner up in 2018 ASEAN Energy Award under the category of small and medium buildings. All the efforts of the Mind Museum are tried to impact preservation of natural resources through energy conservation and water conservation efforts. This includes renewable energy through solar panels that offset a portion of the facility's energy consumption. It provides uh, power to our museum lights and exhibition. Plus, as part of our continual efforts, we are switching to renewable energy source provider by the second quarter of 2022. Second, our air conditioning system is also one of our main points through solar assisted air unit and our dedicated outdoor air system. Third, it is also noteworthy to mention our water conservation effort through the museum's unique rainwater collector and treatment facility. With the aid of the slope roof of the museum, rainwater will simply slide through the roof to the storm drain and the storm drain will deliver the rainwater to the museum's grey water tank with a capacity of 38,000 liters. Water pumps will then drive the water to the treatment facility which will clear the collected drain from any foreign object through filtration and neutralization of the pH content. And then treated water will now be used for the irrigation of our landscape, flushing of restroom, and supply for our cooling towers. And then for the sustainability, during the construction, one of the building materials that was used in the mine museum is the echo wall, which is built from recycled rice hub. The aluminum composite panels or ACT instead of cement were used is for the building's exterior walls because ACTs have a special coating that protects against the heat of the sun. Our facility practices proper waste segregation. We have trash bin for different types of waste. 
Another sustainability features of the Mind Museum is its accessibility to basic services and to facilities for alter alternative transportation, which helps to reduce pollution and impact from automobile use, like the BGC bus in the Bonifacio Global Sea. The Mind Museum features 12 units of solar assisted aircon. It is a green technology because it uses less electricity and uses R410A environment friendly refrigerant. This technology has a solar thermal collector that superheat the refrigerant, which reduces the workload of the compressor that less ele electrical consumption. Since we are ISO 50001 certified management, we follow monitoring processes and varied energy conservation best practices some of which are ensuring timely preventive maintenance of equipment to maintain or improve its efficiency. Daily monitoring of energy and water consumption, chiller optimization, daily equipment operation adjustment, and regular review and tracking of energy parameters. The greatest impact of the energy efficiency and conservation to the mining museum is that it reduced our operating costs while keeping the same level of service, prolonged the life of our equipment, and lastly, it created a positive impact to our guests knowing that our facility cares for the environment. The Mind Museum believes that small actions can lead to a big difference. We educate our staff through trainings and daily coordination meetings to ensure that they understand the importance of our collective efforts in the concept of energy efficiency and conservation like people turning off the lights when not in use, water conservation, and proper wind segregation. APMC and BAFI already have an established energy efficiency program and conservation measures. One of our challenges in implementing those programs is on how we engage everyone in the museum to be part of it. In response to this challenge, we continuously provide awareness. We equip our people with knowledge through seminars and trainings. We encourage our people to embrace the culture of energy conservation. During pandemic, our energy efficiency conservation measures are still in place but health and safety against COVID-19 became our priority. We have no operation for almost two years and we need to cut down our budget. In result, we deferred some of our energy conservation projects. Still, we utilize our resources at that time to continue our energy efficiency and conservation measures by still performing preventive maintenance of our equipment. We took advantage of having no operation to reduce our energy consumption, like reducing light operation in the museum, uh, we did not operate our chiller plant, and we reduced the elevator operation of the building. I'm the Narci Ascare from province of Surigao. I am the commander of the Mine Museum Security. During our probing, we make sure that all lights, aircon, and computer are turned off after all this hour. <laughs> Ako po si Margie Ornopia, housekeeping ng the Mine Museum. Sinisegregate po namin yung mga basura na nakukuha po namin sa museum. Like po yung mga nabubulok at saka sa hindi nabubulok, pinaghihiwalay po namin. At uh, sa ilaw naman, uh, pinapatay po namin pag hindi ginagamit. Tapos yung mga nakasaksak na hindi naman kailangan binubunan po namin lalo na pag-close na po yung damay mo sa yun. I am Max J.C. Concepcion. As a building engineer, we ensure that electromechanical equipment are in good condition and working efficiently. We ensure that it follows the standard operating procedure as well as the preventive maintenance of our equipment. The Mine Museum is our lone awardee for the Energy Management Systems Green Building category. The establishment is a museum that is situated in a highly urbanized city in the center of Taguig. The museum has a total gross floor area of 14,892.87 square meters. Composed of individuals from the private sector, the Bonifacio Art Foundation Incorporated came up with a bold idea to develop the Philippines' first world-class science museum. Managed by an ISO 5001-2018 certified company, Ayala Property Management Corporation, this museum is the epitome of energy efficiency and engineering excellence. 
their downtrend consumption recorded a total of 1.5 million kilowatt hour in a building efficiency index level of 24.37 kilowatt hour per square meter per year. Their energy saving measures generated an equivalent of 186,006 liters of oil equivalent or 213.8 tons of carbon dioxide emission avoided through the span of three years. The Mine Museum is our lone awardee for the Energy Management System's Green Building category. The award recognized and valued our collective efforts from the top management of APMC and Buffy to the building staff. The award reinforced our desire to continue our efforts in implementing energy efficiency and conservation. When we found out that the Mine Museum was included as one of the awardees from the Department of Energy, we were very proud and happy to be included. Uh, the Mine Museum, as a science museum, uh, believes in contributing and sustainability and being part of the more energy efficient properties uh, in the Philippines is something that we are very proud of and we're glad and appreciative also from DOE that they they also recognize this among among the industries which we hope now will be part of um, inspiring also others to do their part in energy savings and also uh, saving the environment in terms of sustainability. Uh, we hope that we can also inspire our visitors or those who who believe in the same mission as we so that uh, maybe in their own ways they can also contribute uh, whether in their households or and the things that they do in everyday life. We hope that the Mind Museum can continue to walk our talk in terms of educating the public on what can be more sustainable for our planet Earth.